Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be reacting to the Olympics. This is exactly why you should never celebrate too early. So they were running in this race and then she's so excited. Huge smile. She was already ahead of everybody. She knew she was gonna win. Start celebrating. And then wait a second, wait a second because you decided to do that. <gasps> she passed her. Oh man, the moment she realized it was already too late. Bro, you didn't even cross the finish line yet. Yeah, you're gonna put your arm up. No! <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. Me, never played a sport in my life. You can't do that! I mean, for anything, you can't celebrate before you actually win. Like, at least cross the line first before you decide to, like, put your hand up. She lost so much aura right there. That other girl stole her aura and the race. Oh, that sucks. So everybody on the internet has been freaking out over the shooters in the Olympics. You've probably seen these guys on the internet. I'm gonna tell my kids these were the Avengers. <laughs> Might as well. This girl literally looks like a Valorant character. Like, check this out. Sorry for breathing the same air as you and existing on the same planet. She gotta be the coolest person to ever exist. The fit, the precision, not even a smile. What kind of glasses are these? It's like one of them Saiyan scouters. It's over 9,000! What 9,000? You know, the past few days, I learned what Aura was. This is Aura. Just everything about this makes her look like an anime character. The precision glasses, the gun, the pose. Also, she was holding a stuffed animal of an elephant. So I did some research, and it's her daughter's toy. And I guess she was, like, holding it as, like, a good luck charm. I thought that was so cute and wholesome. In competitions. So serious. But wait, what is she like in person? Has this woman ever smiled in real life? Oh, she does. <laughs> Save the smiling for later, after the win. Hands down, the coolest one is this dude. This is Yusuf Dikek, a 51-year-old shooter from Turkey. Ooh, representing my country. Bro just raw dog the Olympics. No fancy equipment, no eye patch, no nothing. Casually put a hand in his pocket and shoots his shot and he got the silver medal. I didn't even see it come out. Did y'all see like a bullet come out? Like I had to play it in slow-mo. No reaction challenge. That's crazy. Just pulled up to the Olympics, hand in the pocket, just a t-shirt and got silver. And when they asked him about it, he was like, I did not need special equipment. I am a natural, a natural shooter. <laughs> Bro, gotta be a killer. He could have gotten gold if he wanted to, but he didn't want to make it too obvious. So you know what, silver's fine. I know a hitman when I see one. Literally John Wick, except no dog. Cat, don't let anything happen to that cat. Tell them all, whoever comes, I'll kill them. The pose is crazy, it's giving Gojo. Yeah! I see no difference. Agent, we need you for one last job. I'm retired, you have to do it for your country. Hm. Fine, good, remember, keep a low profile. <laughs> Silver's fine, I can't believe it. Honestly, the memes are the best part of the Olympics. She was a Spotify premium girl. He was a YouTube to MP3 boy. <laughs> There's no way people still do that. The YouTube to MP3, forever raw dog in it. So a bunch of people have been drawing the Olympic shooters in anime form. And this person like compiled them, made it into like this epic poster. They need to make a movie about this. Netflix needs to make a live action immediately. Okay, this is me the next day because more things keep happening at the Olympics. Maybe I should just make a part two. Like if part two. But like this French athlete came in fourth place. The 3,000 meter steeplechase. It's a European record. But then wait, she literally got down on her knee and asked for her boyfriend's hand in marriage. I thought she was like bending over to like take a picture of him or something. I mean, good for them. Happy for them, but like she's proposing to him. No pants on right now, but where's the pants? in the relationship. Bro even got his best friend hyping him up. <laughs> yes! With the AS! You know, if you're not gonna do it, then I'm gonna do it. I'm sick and tired of waiting. Here's your ring. So I've been seeing this clip of this Olympic swimmer. Apparently this was years ago. He did the flip and then just, I don't know, something went wrong and just went splat into the water. I began to pass out. Then my head hit the wall. 
that face when you realize you messed up. You know what I think would suck about the Olympics? You have one shot to get it right. Like there's no practicing. What if you mess up? like horrible performance anxiety. If like somebody is watching me do anything, I can't do it. I don't like to be watched. I don't even like people watching me cook. Like get out of the kitchen, stop looking at me, face the other way, mind your business. So it's like millions of people are watching you. I would 100% fail doing anything. For me, the Olympics would be the try not to piss yourself challenge. I've seen a lot of people mess up pole vaulting, but I think this guy wins the biggest fail competition. Oh, oh, he made it, he made it, he was so- <laughs> Imagine losing at the Olympics because it was too big. Imagine getting betrayed by your own meat. I mean, if you're gonna lose, this is not a bad way to do it. But it could be worse. Like this dude, he just ran up. Wait, what, what went wrong? Oh no, see this is what I'm talking about. Like you have one chance to do something. I, you just let it slip away. Ugh. Oh, it's so painful to watch. It's like these athletes have been training their entire life to go to the Olympics. And when they finally get their one shot and it's like nothing like they imagined, I can't even imagine that feeling. That sucks. It seems like this happens a lot. Do they get like multiple chances? I don't know. I've never watched the Olympics on TV before. I only go on the internet and watch clips after. something that you have to try multiple times before you actually get it. Shout out to the cameraman at the Olympics recording the gymnastics. <laughs> yeah! Get this dude a medal for this outstanding work. Olympic athlete makes tiny mistake. Pathetic. <laughs> Me walking. <laughs> I think it's literally all of us. We have no right to be saying anything. The only Olympics we be playing is on the couch. How many Doritos can I get in my mouth without making any crumbs on my shirt? We failed this challenge before we even started. Okay, then we got gymnastics. First I do a little dance. And then what? Oh, I wanna see the flips, yeah. Landing was, wow. Okay, I guess the little dance is part of the routine. Oh my goodness, the landing. Okay, that was gotta be like tens. Like everybody holding up the signs with a 10. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.